<sighs> acorns. I get excited for acorn time of year. Although, I've messed up acorns the last two or three years, and from my understanding it should be simple, but I get a little closer every year, and this year is the year. I'm trying three different methods to prepare the acorns. Now, why prepare them? Because although acorns are a tremendously abundant, free, nutritious food that comes every year, they also have to be processed before you can eat them. Acorns contain tannins, or tannic acid, which is mm, incompatible with human digestion. It also has other uses that we're not going to get into right now. But the bottom line is, before you can eat the acorn, you have to get rid of these tannins. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go get some acorns. This is an oak tree. They come in all kinds of shapes. Some have pointed leaves, some have rounded leaves. But for our purposes, the easiest way to identify the oak tree is the acorn. Whoops. This one just came off. Okay. Um, and they come in bigger and smaller ones, and, and some have more tannins and less tannins, but this is the part we're going to use. And you can pick them off the tree sometimes. If they're loose enough that they just fall out of the cap, they're ready. Uh, and, of course, you can pick them up off of the ground. If you notice a hole in them, that means they have a little uh, wormy, uh, little worm a larva has gone through there, and we can talk about that later. If you want to save yourself some time and save your back some strain, you can get one of these pecan harvesters. Uh, and if the acorns are big enough, they'll, they'll go right in there. You're probably going to want to rinse these off. If you want to, you can do the float test. Um, if they float, they're mostly bad, and the ones that sink are mostly good. Just as a bonus, if you don't want to do anything else with them, you can always make a little Halloween craft and paint them like jack-o'-lanterns and uh, ghosts. <laughs> My nut sheller. Pour them into the hopper. And we crank it and they just come out the bottom. This is what they should look like, this lighter color. That's a good one. And this is a bad one. You just toss this out. Um, sometimes they'll have a little bit of a bad spot and you can just cut that off with like a dull knife. I find this to be a really relaxing job and really easy with one of these uh, nut picks. And uh, it smells super good. The acorns have a sweet, nutty smell. Looky there, I finally found one acorn grub. And that took, I, I can't believe I got so far into this without finding one. I mean, I've gone through like thousand acorns for the size, like there's my finger. So that's that's how small he is. And um, these are edible, and I am going to eat him. Uh, they don't have much of a taste, maybe buttery. They're kind of chewy like fat. They're legless, so uh, not legless, the elf. <laughs> They're legless, so if you find something that has legs, that's, that's something else. Um, but there's this little fat little guy, little mouth. They taste like nothing, I think. They're kind of chewy like a piece of fat. <clears throat> um, they don't taste like the acorn like you might think, like bitter and tannins and uh, because of because they were laid on the acorn or, and uh, because of their lifestyle just living in the acorn so far they're not a danger as far as parasites oh, look at him go okay okay I really hope I'm in focus and everything because I've only got whoops, one of these guys I'm not like excited about eating it like it's going to be yummy or anything and bugs you kind of gross you out but it's another one of those foraging edibles. I can't imagine there's much to nutrition in this but here we go. <laughs> it popped. <laughs> My tongue is afraid to go over and touch it. Yeah there's not much flavor. I mean it's it's just that it's alive when you put it in that's like the worst thing and then it pops. I'm just going to go ahead and swallow that before I think about it too much. Okay, there you go. It didn't, I'm making a gross face, but really there was nothing gross about it except in, in my mind. It was the taste, the texture. Nothing, it's just in my brain. In my brain, that was a, 
that was a big event. And we're sifting it through. I tasted some of this and I was surprised to find that it really did take the bitterness out. I wonder if any of the other nutrients have gone out. Yeah, look at that. That's a bunch. I'm putting the acorn meal onto de uh, a dehydrator tray. We're going to dry it out. Let me give you an improvement here. I got these jelly harvesting bags. I got this from Atwoods. It's about $3 for two of them. This is going to work a lot better. I can put this over the blender and then pour it in there and it even has a drawstring so that I can close it up and then I won't have to hold all that uh, cheesecloth together. This And this has smaller holes so less of the acorn meat will escape. There, look at how good that works. I just put it around the mouth of the blender and then dumped it upside down. Look at that. That's going to work so much better than before. For both of the slow and the fast, I'm just going to use the blender and loosely chop up some of these acorns in water. Um, just because if they're whole all together, it's, it's too hard to draw the tannins out of the inside of the acorn. So I'm going to blend these up and then we'll go to the next step. For the hot water, I've already got this boiling and I probably shouldn't have, but I'll pour the rest of this into the <coughs> boiling water. Yeah, you don't splash me. Oh, it's about. I'll let the water boil until the water is discolored with the tannins. Then uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay, I'm one-handed here, so I'm going to try this. But um, I don't know if enough time has gone by. It's really hard to see that. But I'm going to assume that this one's ready. Okay, I'm going to take this and pour it through a strainer into another a bowl just to catch it. Then I'm going to pour that back into this already boiling water. And that's important that it's already boiling. If you put it in cold water and then bring it up to a boil, the cold water is going to bind the tannins back in down into the acorns so that you can't get them out. That was a mistake I made my first year. Normally I would try to have a spoon or something, but I'm one-handed right now, holding a camera. Don't splash boiling water on me. This tannin water, you can save this, and you can do stuff with this. But I'm not going to, not this year. Ooh, that's some hot water. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like... Toffee. It smells like toffee candy. Yeah, wow. I wonder if you could make acorn toffee candy. I need to look into that. Boiling the acorns, doing this the fast way, is said to lower its nutritive value. Some of the, the oils, the volatile oils, get they get boiled away. And uh, I think the B vitamin, if I remember that correctly, some of their B vitamins get rendered um, unusable or, or destroyed by the, the heat. But one of the upsides, besides it just being faster, is it's, it makes your kitchen smell wonderful. Now, I have met a couple of people that say that it smells really bad, um, but most people seem to think that it smells really good. So I don't know if that's a preference thing or if that's like some genetic thing like your nose can or can't smell something. But to me, to most people I've asked, it smells really good. To my wife, it does not smell good. But she doesn't like muscadines either, so... How do you know when it's done? Well, taste the acorn before you process it. See how bitter that is? No, spit that out, don't eat that. After it's gone through the boiling process a few times, or after you've been running it under the tap with the really, really fast method, 
or after a few days with the slow method, take some of the acorn out and taste it. And is it still bitter or astringent? Does it make your mouth or tongue feel weird and want to pucker? If it doesn't, well, it's probably ready. Oh, I left the other burner on. Let's turn that one off. So the water, this is the thing that words... Oh, so you may notice that the water is still... Why am I even... I can't talk with words. This is the last time that I'm boiling these acorns, and you may notice that the water is still brown. It's still discolored. And you might be thinking, hey, it's not done. I need to keep boiling it until the water stops turning a color. And you'd be wrong. And that's okay, because I was wrong when I did it before, too. I boiled it I don't know, 20 times. I thought, oh, wow, how could anybody ever get... The tans out of this. How could anyone ever eat acorns if it takes this long with the fast method? But apparently the tannins and the color aren't exactly equal. Like the tannins are in there, but they're not the only thing from the acorn that gives the water color. And after the first few boils, the tannins are out. Or any that you're going to get out are out. And the rest is just, I don't know what it is. Acorn stuff. Tasting is the, the way. This is the acorn meal from the fast method, the hot method. I'm going to hold both of these in my left hand, so forgive the shaky cam and blurry image. Still kind of hot. I'm going to get a little bit of that and taste it. It tastes very bland, very plain. And let me get a little more and kind of roll around and see if I can feel any of that astringence as it touches different parts of my mouth. I'm testing to see if it's done. It seems done. Oh, that may be too close. Okay, here's my sort of slurry of loosely blended up acorn chunks. And for the slow method, I'm going to pour about half of this into some water. And I'll clean up my mess soon. And uh, what we want to do is we'll let the acorns settle in there. And once or twice a day, pour off the top of the water uh, to pour off the, the tannins. And then refill it with some more water and then let it set. And do that for several water changes. Do that for a few days. And, uh, and then we'll see how bitter it is. I will drain this off twice a day. And I think the mistake I made last time was not draining it off often enough and that caused it to spoil. What I, to my understanding, draining it off often enough will keep it from going bad. But remember, I didn't actually get this one right before. Here's the tannin water from the slow version. And I've been pouring this off uh, morning and night. Well, this is my second time, actually. You just pour the top water off and down the sink. See, there's the acorn meal um, below it. But uh, there you go. And I'll fill it back up with more water, and I'll change it again in the morning. This is about the third day, and see, this water is a lot clearer. So I'm going to pour this off. Other slow methods I'm not demonstrating include putting it in a bag and then putting that bag in a stream somewhere that it can't wash down downstream and let the water just run and run through it. And then when you get it out, boil it good so you don't have parasites from the stream water. Another method is to put it in a bag and then hang that bag inside the top bowl of your toilet. Really. Because the top bowl is clean, theoretically. I'm not going to try that one. So, when the zombies attack and society inevitably crumbles, it's nice to know how to get the tannins out of acorns in a stream or with some cold water or boiling water over a campfire but for now just because of how quick and easy it is I think I'll stick with my blender. Now let's taste this. Well, let's smell it. it. Smells... Does that smell weird or does it smell normal? I don't know. Can't decide. Taste? I don't want that. So, slow version, taste. Maybe I did something wrong again. That does not taste good. 
the other versions taste like you know, nothing. They don't have a taste that has a negative taste to it. I still taste some of the bitterness in that, which I did with the fast version, even though I think the, the hot version, and I think if I had boiled it out more, that would have gone away. And there was a little bit of that with the really fast version. So, but this was the, this one tasted the worst to me. Somebody that knows what they're doing, I'm sure that they can do this right. For me, I don't have this method down pat yet. That's my experience. For me, the fastest and easiest also yields the best acorn. Hmm. That's my evaluation. Oh, that's really bad. I'm going to go get a drink of something else. Maybe some acorn coffee. <laughs> Start by grinding up some more acorns. We're not going to leach the tannins out of this for some reason. That's how you make acorn coffee. And toss them in a food processor, our coffee grinder, and bzzz them on up, which I have done. Now we put it on the stove, turn on the heat, and just start stirring it. And keep stirring it as it darkens. Stir like the wind, bullseye! Seriously though, it's trying really hard to burn. So, that's what's left. That might be a bit overdone there. I'm going to call this done, and hopefully it is. Now my theory about why you don't have to leach the tannins out, by roasting them without the water, maybe it locks the tannins inside? I don't know, I'm just making that up. I'm having to improvise a little bit. The way that I had learned to do this, making the coffee, involved a, a percolator, like you can put on top of here. But I don't have one of those, at least not yet. So I'm going to boil some water on the stove. I believe you can make coffee this way. We'll see if it works. I skipped a little bit, but I brought some water up to a boil, and then put some of the acorn coffee in here. And it boiled for a few minutes. Now I'm going to pour off some of the coffee, the water, into the cup, and leave the grounds in there. This smells really good, but I'm a little hesitant because the the acorns themselves smelled like this and they were really bitter. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. I think I made some mistakes though. Let's start over. The first mistake, I think, was the roasting. I should have roasted that on a lower heat so I could get it much browner um, without burning it. I think what I'm getting is some of the burnt flavor, and I think that it not being brown enough is letting more of the tannins come out to give me the bitter taste. It did have in there, the very first taste I got was the really good acorn flavor taste. I got that at first, and I was really hopeful, but then the, the bitterness came through. <clears throat> so... I'm going to try this again on lower heat. I shelled and chopped up some new acorns, and I should have got these smaller, but I'm running out of time. Round two. Lower heat this time. Still has a really good smell. The smaller bits were getting done, but the bigger bits weren't, so I, uh, I poured it through a strainer, and, and I got the little bits out, and they're all brown, and I tasted one of those, and it's a little bit bitter, but it's honestly a lot better. And I'm going to crank up the heat on these bigger pieces, and I don't know if I'm going to ruin it or not, but we'll try. Yeah, pretty sure I absolutely ruined that. I've got my water boiling, and I put in mm, about one big teaspoon. I'm definitely going for a weaker brew this time. High hopes. Some fears. Try that again. I think we've got it. This is a drink. This is a drinkable drink. Now, what happens if I add sugar and milk? And this is acorn coffee with milk and sugar and little acorn bits floating in it. I like it's we I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. I like it. I could drink this if I was out camping and 
are if I was out in the woods with a zombie apocalypse and acorns I would be more concerned with the zombies so, um, if I was camping and I had some acorns and time to uh, you know mess with them I would drink this this is good I'm have to make this again yeah the, sec the first sip I wasn't sure what to expect the second sip is better yeah I'm a I'm a little bit scared of it because of the other one it was so bad this is good this is a good drink I can drink this They smell good. Their batter was good. Acorn cookies. Here's the first one. The batter tasted really good. They smell really good. They are really good. Okay. I redid the recipe. And, uh, that's, that's not supposed to do that. It melted off, it ran off all over on the bottom of the, of the oven. Oh, dear. Part of it was on fire a moment ago. So, right, you gotta make mistakes to learn how to do it right. So, if you follow this recipe, make sure you use a pan with sides. Because it's much more runny. It tastes good. I'm just scraping it up off of the cookie sheet. I hope you enjoyed my acorn experiment and that you found something useful. So, to review, the method that worked the least well for me was the slow method with cold water. Although I'm sure if someone knows better what they're doing, that should work too. The method that produced the second most enjoyable acorn meat for me was the fast method with the boiling water. And to my great surprise, the method that I preferred the most that made the acorn meal taste the best was my very, very fast blender method, which shouldn't have worked I would think but it did so I hope that you have a good experience with acorns and uh, get out there and get some before the squirrels get them all